So in chipping, I want to be really clear about something. You know, in the golf swing, here's an example of something. With that club laying down flat on the ground, what is the fastest way to get that handle off the ground? I would say it's a catapult effect by using angle. The angle of this club, if I step on it, look how fast that club springs up off the ground. The catapult effect, right? So the understanding of creating an angle between our arm and the shaft and releasing the angle. So why am I bringing this up with a chip shot? Well, because a chip shot, one of the best ways to understand and execute a chip shot is what's called hinge and hold. And it works like this. If I hold this alignment tool against the grip, it extends the handle of my golf club. When I make a, a chip shot, what I want to do is allow the wrist to be soft so that they can have some hinge or leverage in the backswing. But as I swing down and put the leading edge of the club into the ground, I want to hold the angle off after that. I don't want to flip the wrists on the other side. Okay, so understand that a chip shot is basically hinge where we create leverage and then it's snap that leverage back to straight but then hold it. Don't flip it on this side, okay? So I'm going to demonstrate now the concept of creating some angle, some leverage, in which at impact I hold, okay? So here it goes, a little leverage and hold right through. Notice how I'm back into one lever, okay? That's something that I would encourage everyone to work on. You can do it right in your living room. Learn to create angle and then hold that angle off through. The better you get at that, the better chipper you're going to be.